gorgeous cinematography um, and capturing the beauty of the lands and the forests, just this constant visual reminder in this piece of what we wish to maintain uh, through the laws and the policies developed by the group in carbon offsetting private lands. I really appreciate the depth in which they went to explain this policy and how they're maintaining older, more um, powerful carbon rich forests. And the graphics and animations throughout really helps to tell that story um, and explain the science and the project goals in a very clear yet playful manner. Uh, I love the themes explored of, of logging with intention and honoring the wisdom of nature and advancing conservation. So very much appreciate that I, I stumbled onto this piece. I was so impressed by the content of the interviews, so many passionate and informed people. I admired the animation work of the trees and charts and the eye-opening stats. I liked the gentle contemplative soundtrack of piano and other instruments, and the voiceover artist was excellent, giving info in a knowledgeable tone. I really enjoyed the gorgeous footage of the forests from a distance with drones and super close-ups of the animals. Uh, lots of beautiful footage, and we hear from a variety of knowledgeable people. Um, I, for one, was excited to learn about the Pacific Forest Trust, uh, something I'd never really heard about. Uh, their existence reminded me of a quote, I, I can't forget from who, but it was something to the effect of, uh, you know, we'll be the only species to have wiped ourselves out because, you know, saving ourselves wasn't profitable. So um, I was just, I was really just delighted to learn about the Pacific Forest Trust. I think it's a fantastic idea. Um, and this documentary absolutely uh, does it justice. It's just a good, um, you know, good length, good uh, format to just get that message out there. Because again, it's an important one. Um, and something I'd never even really considered about uh, the private forests. Uh, yeah, so there was just a lot of great information here um, presented really well. Trying to resolve that kind of clash between environment and economy. Uh, because I feel like the best i would i don't want to say compromise but the best way to convince those uh who are more inclined towards the economy towards helping the environment is convincing them that helping the environment would be economically beneficial uh because i feel i feel like it's kind of like uh <laughs> When you try to tell a student about how all these different courses are going to benefit them in life, you know, when you start talking like that, their eyes kind of gloss over. But if you start speaking in their language, if you start speaking about how this can help them make money, now they're more invested. Um, I do like that, uh, that approach of trying to get them to see it from a different angle I think is a very good strategy to hopefully help to restore the damage that we've caused. This documentary did a great job of providing visual aids and sources and interviews that um, talked about their issues clearly and the solutions clearly and really made it easy to understand what was going on. I appreciated uh, the visual aids, especially um, being able to really see exactly what was happening through their charts and graphs and pictures really helped me out. Um, I also appreciated that the interviews were held in the actual environment. So in um, the forest especially was really cool to see. And I thought that this had some incredible shots of the forest that they were conserving. Um, just these beautiful overhead shots of the trees in the forest just really came alive and was very immersive for me as a viewer. Uh, so yeah, overall, I really enjoyed this documentary. Um, it just, it's really awesome to see that there's people out there um, really putting their all into conserving the environment. Um, it's So yeah, very encouraging to know that these people are out there because these are such big issues that have caused a lot of anxiety for everyone who cares about the environment and about climate change so i liked that it was described as to what this was about and what the benefits of a forest are and how they're disappearing and how these people are taking it upon themselves to figure out a good way for 
people to rebuild the forests and have it be financially um, feasible as well and profitable without ruining nature for good. Because, I mean, this was so educational. I didn't realize that these trees were storing so much carbon. And then when they're cut, it's basically all, almost all released. So clearing a forest doesn't make sense. Clear cutting, um, it's actually worse for our environment than anything. And it was just so educational. And um, I wrote down value, valuing old trees is kind of like valuing the wisdom of old people. That was so great and something I took away from this for sure. The quality of Beyond the Trees is beyond pair. It felt like one of those films that you would go see at a museum and pay to see on the big screen where it's informative, educational, and it's not really at the elementary level for the school. It's, abs it's absolutely amazing that they were able to put this level of quality into something for short, so short. It's very educational. I learned a lot. I knew we needed trees i didn't know how much was on private land still i know some of the best experiences people have is on in forests so it's one of those things that we desperately need to preserve and this documentary would show people how and in a place like a science museum this documentary would flourish because it would absolutely show people what's what to do and it's the type of film that people would pay at a museum to see